Today I want to share with you how to peel a butternut squash. You know, this is such a hard vegetable. In fact, it could be called a fruit in some categories. And sometimes people are intimidated by it because it's so hard. Well, it's not as easy to peel as an orange, but this is a vegetable that you definitely want in your diet. It can be used in so many different ways. Now we just have to get past the first step, how to peel it. So this is what I want you to realize. You have the neck of the vegetable and then you have the bulb. And the easiest way to do this is to take your chef's knife, this will be your chef's nice knife, and then just go ahead and cut off the neck of the butternut squash. And as we cut this off, it will make it easier. Now I'm kind of at an odd angle, and if I was doing this down on the counter, then it would cut real easy. But because I'm doing it up here so you can see it, it was a little bit hard, as you could tell. It shouldn't be that hard. So just do it at an angle down on the counter where you can get a good pressure on it to cut it. And then it will be simple. Now I want you to notice, you see how you have a yellow on the inside of the peeling? That's all part of the peeling. Now most people, they just take their peeler and they just will peel off. Now once again, this is easier if you do a downward stroke like that. And I actually like this, this is a Y peeler because of the shape. It actually works easier. And once again, if I was doing this down on, at the right level, this would be super easy and I could go right around. But I'm trying to do it so that you can see it. And so what you wanna do is you just wanna peel it, all the peeling off, and you wanna make sure, see how I have some orange coming through versus the white versus the peeling? I want only orange left over on my butternut squash. Okay, so I'm gonna go around like this because of the angle that I'm doing this, as opposed to being at a better angle down on the counter. But like I said, I didn't want you to miss any of this. This is definitely a vegetable that you wanna to learn to peel. You wanna have fun peeling it. And I know many people are gonna say, why couldn't you just you know, soft bake it and make it easier to peel? You could, but then I'm limited on how I can use the vegetable in my cooking. I want to use it today as a raw vegetable because I'm going to be making another video on how to rice it, how to dice it, and how to have fun with butternut squash. Now, there's some important things that you need to know about a butternut squash. One is you actually could grow these in your yard. You could grow them in your flower garden. It would add a nice, beautiful arrangement to your flower garden. It would be a little bit of a different look. It is a vine that has beautiful flowers. And then when the, pump, when, the, <laughs> when the butternut squash starts to grow, it would just make a nice addition to your garden. So there you can see, now you see the green lines? You don't want those. You, a lot of people don't tell you that. When they teach you how to peel these, they don't tell you that you need to get rid of that. That's actually gonna make it a little bit more bitter than what it should taste like. And when you get rid of all those green lines and all of the white or the faded color, and you get down to the actual orange, then you know you have peeled it successfully. Now, I'm probably making this look more difficult than it should, and it's all because of the angle that I'm at. Proper peeling, you would be down at a better angle on the, at, at your normal counter, and then it would go much faster. So you would cut that off. Then, this part too, you would peel as well. You just do the same thing all the way around until you have beautiful butternut squash. So I'm just gonna kind of do it at this angle because of the video here because I just really want to teach you how to be confident in the kitchen. And when I know that you're confident in the kitchen, you're gonna be confident with your health. And when you're confident with your health, you're confident about your future. And all of it is going to relate to knowing and understanding how much God loves you. Now you may have already watched the grocery shopping video on how to buy butternut squash and also why. This is the perfect vegetable for winter time because it gives you lots of vitamin A, which is another reason why I wanna enjoy some of it more raw than already baked. This can be added into so many different recipes. It could be added raw into your salads. It could be added lightly sauteed into your breakfast dishes, all of that to make it and just add some incredible nutrition to your meals. 
All right, I'm almost done with the first round and sometimes I have to go around a couple times just to make sure I have all of the green stripes off of my butternut squash. Now, if you leave them on and you go ahead and cook with it because you've been doing it that way for years, the only thing is you've just changed the taste. It's gonna be a lot better tasting if you don't have those green stripes and you don't have any of the white lines or the white peel left on the butternut squash. Well, I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I enjoy teaching you how to cook, helping you to be confident in the kitchen, and that way you're not gonna be so caught up in going through the drive-through because you just don't know what to do. All right, so there you can see beautiful orange, a beautiful butternut squash. I will throw these peelings out into my garden and just let them decompose and enrich the garden, and there you go. This is how you peel the butternut squash. And in other videos, I hope you're keeping up with what we're doing because if not, you're gonna miss out on how to rice this. You've heard of cauliflower rice? Well, we're gonna make butternut squash rice. And have you heard how to spiralize butternut squash? If you haven't heard all that, then you need to subscribe right now and hit the bell, which is next to subscribe. And that way you'll be notified every time a video is posted. I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist. I'm here to help you be confident in the kitchen. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video.